There are joys because police released limited video about seven and a half minutes and only one of the clips, a 61 second clip, captures the shooting. Here it is. South, they're going west on Helmholtz. They just 50. In the video, you hear an officer make the claim the driver almost ran him over. That was the initial narrative released by police. However, the department fired the officer for what it called multiple policy and procedure violations. The department did not elaborate, but the body camera video from the officer who opened fire starts only after the shooting. I was right behind you. You almost tried to run me over. I'm good. I don't know about the car, man. Hey, are you okay? That voice is from Tafara Williams. She was behind the wheel and she was shot. Her boyfriend and father of her child, Marcellus Stinnett, was shot and killed. There have been protests in Waukegan in Stinnett's honor. His family is now represented by renowned attorney Benjamin Crump, who also represents the family of Jacob Blake, who was shot by an officer just about 20 minutes north of where this happened. Please don't tell Waukegan. Please, no fighting. We got to do this the right way. Derek, do we know how this incident started? It started according uh, to the video, Joyce, when a different officer pulled up behind Williams' car, which was parked. According to that video, the officer in that clip said he recognized Stanette and claimed Stanette had a, a warrant. Then you see the woman drive off in the video, leading to that brief chase. But lawyers uh, for the families say they are going to conduct their own investigation. Meanwhile, the Waukegan Police Department has not publicly identified the officer it fired.